with episode one of Kamala Ahmad, the unethical lawyer, and Ken Kumar, the dishonest executor of the will. But here guys, let me give you a little recap first. Hello Winnipeg, Manitoba. We are taking a look at unethical lawyers and we definitely found one. The culprit is Kamala Ahmad of Penzelan Law Firm here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. She is the unethical will estate lawyer who unethically helped a dishonest executor of the will, Ken Kumar, to remove $250,000, that's right, a quarter of a million dollars from an estate unethically and criminal. We're making a 20 episode series here. If you haven't seen the first episode, take a look at it, it's right here. Now let's be clear, if you didn't know this, there is a process, a legal process, that has to be followed to a T. There are certain roles such as people take on as executor of the wills, as beneficiaries, and this legal process has checks and balances set up so that executor of the wills and unethical lawyers cannot just ignore and disrespect the process. Now the process does this by setting rules such as an executor of the will must be completely transparent with the accounting of the estate. What we're gonna do is go into the rules they're actually breaking. Okay guys, so we're just gonna do a internet search here and we've punched in, does an executor have to show accounting to beneficiaries? What it comes up to is this page right here and it says, does an executor have to show accounting to beneficiaries in Canada? And let's see what it says here. It says the executor must provide proper accounting in court format to beneficiaries in a timely manner. I mean, that pretty much says it right there. The executor must provide proper accounting in court format to beneficiaries in a timely manner. So let's start with some straightforward definitions that we got straight off the internet, okay? So, can a beneficiary ask to see the estate accounts? It is common for beneficiaries to ask to see a copy of the will. Only residuary beneficiaries are entitled to see a copy of the estate account themselves, i.e. the full statement of all of the estate assets and liabilities, including executor's expenses. So they said resid residuary beneficiary. So what does a residuary beneficiary mean? A residuary beneficiary is a beneficiary who has been left a percentage of what is left in the estate after all debts and expenses have been settled. They are called residuary beneficiaries because they receive residue of the estate. Okay guys, so in this situation we're dealing with right now, that's exactly what these people are because in the will it states very clearly there's three offspring and all three of them get an equal percentage. Okay, so we move on here and it says clearly on the internet here, are beneficiaries entitled to bank statements? Okay guys, so that last one is pretty clear and we're gonna break it down here. It states beneficiaries are entitled to receive a financial accounting of the trust, including bank statements regularly. Now the beneficiaries did exactly this, but Ken and Kamala still refuse to be transparent regarding the account. It also goes on, when statements are not received as requested, a beneficiary must submit a written demand to the trustee. The beneficiaries did exactly that. Once Ken Kumar did not show and refused to show accounting, they placed it in writing and he still refused. A beneficiary of an estate or a trust has the right to view the actions of the executor or trustees by asking for the accounting. Once again, the beneficiaries did exactly that and Ken Kumar and Kamala Ahmad refused to comply. It says here, to be prudent, an executor or trustee should provide the beneficiary with updates on the status of the estate or trust. So, 
Ken and Kamala definitely are not prudent about it. They refuse to show any of it. So, that says a lot there. So it's very clear now, if the executor of the will refuses to give the residual beneficiaries all the accounting and the lawyer agrees with that, you are now officially dealing with a dishonest executor of the will and an unethical lawyer. So if you live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, make sure to subscribe, follow this story. Even if you don't live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, we are creating this into an educational videos for people who might run into the same problem, a dishonest executor of the will and an unethical lawyer. Have a great day. Now, don't forget to complain. It's very important for us to unite and then see that. So just look down in the description. It's going to tell you exactly how to complain and how you will be entered into this group actively seeking to access their birth certificate bond. Keep in touch. Keep looking. We've got lots more to tell you. You guys have a great day.